Hey, what's up, guys? Kali Kings 01. Um, I'm just giving you guys a quick tutorial on the people who had a problem with the sound files for all my characters, like uh, like uh, Mega Man and stuff. Now, for the Mega Man, there was a problem with the uh, sounds file. So, if you guys are using that move set and you guys are having problems with the uh, sounds file, please do not use the sounds file. It will crash. It will uh, mess up Fox uh, for some weird reason. It messes up Fox. Um. I, uh, I will try uh, a little bit later to try to uh, fix that and give you guys a download link for the uh, replacement of the sounds file. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys the proper way to import sound, uh, the sounds file. That's this little file here. Uh, if you guys are having problems with it and stuff like that. Okay, now if you're having problems with it, sometimes this program sounds uh, 0 0.12, uh, it has a problem. Uh, Cause I've noticed, anytime I import a sound, it creates a sound in in the uh, folder. So what you do, if it has this sound dot sound uh, sound file, I just delete it. And that's it. Uh, now, um, if you wanna, if you have one of my sounds, like the recent one, people had a some people had a problem with is uh, the Little Mac PSA. Uh, the sounds, I guess there wasn't working. Uh, I don't know how, because I tested it three times before I released it because of the Mega Man issue. And it works perfectly fine, but I'll show you guys that it works. Now, what I'm going to do here, this is our, this is a, uh, I'm going to grab a fresh, um, basically a fresh uh, Smash Bros. sound uh, file. Let me find one real quick and I'll come... I'll come back with the video. Nope, wrong thing. Uh, all right, I'm back. Now, what I'm going to do, this is a clean one right here. Uh, I'll show you guys in a second that it's a fresh one. I'm going to copy it, go back to where my sounds were, and just paste it. You can see that this one was larger, and it's an older version. As you can see, the year right there. You see that? Bam. Now, just copy that over real quick. Give me a second. Uh... Now, just to show you guys that this is a fresh one, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this up in Super Sounds. I like using Super Sounds to import my sounds, by the way. Um, open, open up Super Sounds. You can check if it's uh, if it's working or not through Brawlbox, but I'm not going to do that. I like checking it like this. So you just open it up where your sound, the uh, Super Smash sounds are. Uh, and you go through in Super Sounds like so. Find Jigglypuff. As you guys can see. <coughs> as you guys can hear. If you guys can hear it. <coughs> it's Jigglypuff. Now. As you've already seen. This is a fresh one. Now if you want to import. A sounds file. This is how you go through it. I'm going to exit out of Super Sounds. Because I don't know how to import the sounds through there. Open up. Sounds 0.12. You open it up and make sure oh yeah make sure your sounds file is inside the uh, sounds 0 0.12 folder if not then this won't work it won't even open this up anyway you go down where it says group IDs um, Jigglypuff is two, uh, 29 I think and if you are not sure uh, sounds will provide the uh, IDs for you right here as you can see and just to be sure it's 29 right there now since that's 29 we're gonna insert the sound and I'm already in the folder where the sounds are and I have it located exactly how I have it in the um, download link you'll see it just like this where the sounds are and just in case if they're if this this sounds file doesn't work, you can do it individually, and it'll have the numbers look like the numbers where the sounds go. I'll show you that in a second. Anyway, you just double click it. It's importing now, as you can see. Just give it some time. Let it do what it's doing. Just wait. Just wait a little second. Now, close it out. Now we want to test and see if it's working, right? See, like I said, you can open it up in Brawlbox, so I'm going to do just that. Give it a little minute. All right. Now, this is Brawlbox. Uh, what you want to do, you can either go into 
the sound effects or the voices. So I'm gonna go to voices and look for Jigglypuff, aka porn. Just to tell show you guys that is working. And just click the sound. Yeah! Little Mac. See, it works. Now, the thing is people use Project M, so I don't know exactly how you go about in certain sounds in Project M. I don't know if it's just like Vibra or like Revolution. Who knows? I don't know. I don't use Project M. I have nothing against Project M. Anyway, if you use Revolution, I think you just drop this in your SD card inside the uh, the the Super Smash, where you put all your mods for Smash Brothers in your SD card. It'll be a folder in there called Sound. That's like where your stage music and stuff like that in there. You put it in that folder. You just drag it. You drag and drop it if you uh, have Revolution. That's what I think. I'm not 100% sure. Don't go by me on that one. Now, if you're using V or you you know you're using Dolphin, um, this is what you do here to put the sounds in. You gotta have an ISO file of Smash Brothers. So I'm not gonna go through that. How you get it? None of that. You go to another person with all that. Uh, because I'm not about to do a whole tutorial about how to get the ISO file of Smash Brothers. If you've been doing Smash mods, you should already know how. Anyway, you go. You need Wii Scrubber. You open up Wii Scrubber. Load it. Open up your Smash Brothers. This might happen. This only. I don't know if this only happens for me. You just keep on clicking this shit until it's gone. It doesn't take very long. I don't know if that's the only, I'm the only person that this happened to. I don't know how to fix it. Okay. Now, you open up Partition Zero. Then see you go in your sound. Just like Revolution, if this is your, uh, your inside your SD card, you open up your sound folder. Then, bam. You see that right there? You just replace that. And then you're done. You just replace it, wait for it to finish. Then you close this out. And after you're done, you just, uh, if you're using uh, Dolphin, you just load your ISO file up and it should have the sounds. But if you're not using Dolphin, you have to do it with this program right here, the WBFS Manager. You use this. Uh, you load. If you have a hard drive, that's how you play in Smash Brothers. That's how you'll go about on doing that. You have to load up your drive. I'm not going to do it because I don't have my drive plugged in. I'm not nowhere near my hard drive where I play my games. You'll open it up. It'll pop up on the left-hand side. You'll find your Smash Brothers. You'll delete it. You'll delete your Smash Brothers. And if you have an ISO file, like you just replace your sounds and stuff for Smash Brothers, you'll go to Browse, and you browse your Smash Brothers game. Open it right here, and then you add it to Drive. And it'll add it to your drive, and it'll take about like five minutes to put on into your drive. Once it's finished... Click OK, close this out, and then unplug your hard drive, and then plug it back inside your Wii, and you're basically finished. So, um, I guess I uh, explained it well. I'm not 100% sure. If you're still having problems, let me know. Put it in the comments. I'll try to help you help you out as much as possible. Um, if there's anything else you guys need to know that's this simple, please let me know. Uh, I will probably tell you in the description or I'll probably make a video about it. Um, it depends on how many people are having a problem. So um, thank you for watching. And like I said, if you have any other questions, leave a comment below. Like this video if I helped you. And I'll see you guys later. And keep a lookout for Gigamac over Bowser, a.k.a. Uh, Little Mac over Bowser with Gigamac. Uh, that will be re being released sometime soon. I'm not too not. I'm not sure on how soon, but it will be released soon. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.